Welcome back. Governor Yesowiki of River State has declared his intention to contest the 2023 presidential election, insisting that he has the capacity to confront the All Progressives Congress APC and win the election for the People's Democratic Party. We came made the declaration during a consultative meeting with stakeholders of the Benue chapter of the PDP at Government House in Makori. He told the stakeholders present about his ambition and solicited for Benue PDP votes in the coming National Delegates Convention of the party, even as he stressed on zoning. The governor of River State also wants stakeholders not to sell their votes, but to give the votes to him, while adding that some of the People's Democratic Party presidential aspirants were only after power in order to amass personal gains. Let's go over to that, uh, that event, and we will roll the tapes to see what exactly transpired at the government house in Makodi, Benway State. For you to remove this APC from power, see, my, my, my mother told me when a madman flocks you, don't run. If you run, the madman will f f uh, pursue you. If you flock you, take stick back, flock the madman. That, 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 the madman, ah, this is very painful. Then the madman will start uh, running. This is APC. It, they require people too. Who will tell them uh, enough is uh, enough. And I'm that person that can tell them enough is uh, enough. We must take this power. Power, they know the dashabo. Do you dash power? No. Power is what taking. I'm I'm ready to take it for PDP. And I will take it for PDP. <laughs> no, if you are on the right side, they the dash power. Then they take a power. All oh, these people want the right side. It is supposed to be supposed to be. Do do what? I've come out. I'm going to take this power from from APC. Back to a PDP Amen. by the grace of uh, God. God has given us what it is, and that's why God is making APC to make mistakes every day, every day, every That is how you know God is with you. Yes. So, I'm begging all of you here Abba Moro, Suswan, Senator, Spoker, spoke well, members, chairman, don't go and sell your vote. Don't go and sell your vote. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Because I'm the only one that can have the capacity. APC people, when they hold meeting, they say, look, oh, don't enter with case problem. They must enter. And when they have entered, I've captured them. Give me this to do. Let me return power to PDP. Thank you. For you. Give me, uh, the governor says. Well, joining us to discuss this is um, uh, Mr. Punabo Kutara. He's a former special advisor uh, to the governor of River State and Media and Publicity. Talking about Governor Yesomiki and a former spokesperson of the People's Democratic Party in River State, uh, Darlington Orji. Gentlemen, good evening to you and welcome. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. All right, let's start with you, uh, Ms. Nkotare. What is your reaction to um, this revelation by Governor Yeso Mike? He's finally spilled the beans, basically saying that uh, he wants to be president of Nigeria in 2023. Um, you can see them in his, uh, him in his red cap. Um, what, what, what's your view on this? Well, first, let me state that it is his constitutional right to so I mean, all he needs to do is meet uh, the constitutional requirements. And if he meets them, of course, he has the right to confess, like uh, any other person. But the truth about this is that I have my strong reservations. And what are those reservations? There are certain qualities you need in a person. Governor Yes of Wiki is one man that is impervious to criticism, is one man that is moved with his words, especially the use of new words and language. A man that does not control his temper. And uh, for a president, you need this courteous public personnel that will serve as a coat of armor, uh, protective your anger in public. 
There's not that kind of person. And in most cases, it goes beyond the bounds. For example, if you do a thing or so it, say a thing that is adverse to his interest or he finds it inimical, rather than address the issue, he is going to abuse your family, abuse your father, and abuse your mother. That attitude smacks of depravity on a very serious note. That is not what you want from a president. And it's more surprising. I expected this from President um, Buhari, given his military background. But after that mistake of Dasuki, where he said the court has no right to admit Dasuki to bail when he is guilty, which we all condemn, I don't think he has really come out in the open to exhibit his uh, military background. This is completely lacking in Governor Yosef Wiki. Let us also use the issue of the Ido State Governor, for example, and his deputy. At no point in time did the deputy insult him when he spoke. He ventilated his views with anger. And that was in the Edo State. If anybody should get to River State, come to River State, to detect to PDD, we can won't break it. He will not tolerate it. Now, the Delta State Governor, whatever that is, the Deputy Governor, was expressing his misgivings. We can took it up. The next thing is with your father. The man never mentioned anybody's father. The governor responded. He reacted again. It's such a vulgar manner. That's not, that's not, that's not gubernatorial. And is that what you're going to take to the president? You see, these are the issues we are talking about. You must be able to tolerate views, no matter how inimical those views are. And as a leader, you choose your words. You choose your language. You must select the right word from the word basket. You engage in intellectual discussion. You disagree. Like my brother in the studio on the other side now, I'm talking of uh, Dalin. We might disagree on this program. But that does not mean I'm going to say, Dalin, who is your father? Dalin, who is your mother? Bukala Saraki is out now. Atiku is out now. Rather than I am better than Atiku, I am better than Bukala Saraki. You are asking, uh, is uh, your father's business, how many are still surviving? Why do you have to drag families into this? It's quite discourteous and highly disrespectful. That is not what we want in politics. You must be courteous, decorous in politics. These are the issues. All right, all right. Uh, Mr. Ngotera, in, interesting uh, points you've made, of course, I've taken note of most of them, if not all. Darlington Oji, you are a member of the People's Democratic Party. But before I come to you, uh, Ms. Ngotera, you, you were... You were um... Let me say this. Let me, let me say this. You yeah. know that. You know clearly. I know. I've said it always. I'm not a member of PDP. I'm not a member of APP. Okay. As I speak, I'm not a member of any political party. I all speak. right. And that's why I can take aside the government, both state and federal, right. at will. Okay. You, you were, you were, you were a, a, a spokesman for our special advice on media and publicity to uh, Governor Yes, when we yeah, came in. Yeah, we yeah. he, When he became governor in his first tenor, you know, the first few years, you were his first... You were in for that one, then. You look, of, you of course, you of course. That. And you, you battled me. You battled it's me on that. air whenever we had we yeah, talked yeah, about we because, came because, in. Because, because you breached you breach the professional ethics. <laughs> Uh, I, well, I, 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 didn't, I didn't breach the professional ethics, but we'll talk about that some other. I, do, I don't know what I did to breach we it. We agree. No, no, no. no, no, no. Uh, Mr. Nkotaria, Mr. Nkotaria, I, I, do not know, I, I do not know, what you're, I do not know what you're talking about, but uh, this is not a forum to, to discuss that things because you don't have time. Um, however, you were, you were the first spokesman for Governor Wike. Um, are these things you're saying based on your personal experience with him? What is personal experience? You are talking about what is in the media, even on your stage. Your stage. So it's not, it has nothing to do with personal experience. My personal experience with him in office has nothing to do with the public. That's purely official. Okay. Even if he had said, uh, Opnavo, this or this or that, 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 that's between us. 
I'm upset, I'll tell him I'm upset. And the actual say I didn't like what you said. Hmm. Well, we're talking of public now. We're not talking about personal experience here. What you, your, any experience you have with your boss should remain with your boss. Okay, so let, let's, let, let's bring in Darling to the These are statements that we have made in public. Okay, let, let, let's, because of Not time, let's bring Darlington Oji at this point. Darlington Opunabo and Gotaria, whom you know very well, has uh, said um, uh, Governor Yosunbike lacks the character uh, to become Nigeria's president. Um, he, he also says that um, the governor of River State cannot tolerate opposing views um, and is a serial abuser of, of, of other persons. W what's your, your response to this? Well, thank you for uh, the privilege to respond to some of these issues. Unfortunately, I am not here to join issues with my brother there uh, because he has been a member of our party. He has had his shot. Uh, the issue why he was disengaged is not a matter for debate as it stands today. If not, he understands that at the time I was the spokesman of the party, so he should know that I was close to the system and I understand. Uh, let me tell you that uh, the declaration of his I was not disengaged, please. I was not disengaged. Don't worry, can you allow me? I don't want to talk about that, please. If you can yeah, allow yeah, me. You, my, my, my dear brother, my dear brother uh, I can tell you that what has happened is a triumphant entry into the polity of Nigeria. And the question is, why should it be that since His Excellency, since yesterday, the governor has made his intention known to Nigerian people People are running all through the looks and crannies of uh, uh, Nigeria. Now you talk about the character of a man. I don't understand. Like as Obnabo is sitting down there, when I call him a bully, I don't know how he's going to react to me. Uh, if he's going to absorb it or take it in good faith, not everybody will take that. You know that His Excellency Governor Wike is not a man uh, that you can, you know, you can discuss when you are not certain of what you are saying. Now, talking about whether he has the character and charisma and capability to carry Nigerian nation, my dear brother, the answer is yes. How? River State is a meaning Nigeria, my brother, there can understand and agree with me. This is a state where we have different people from different tribes, country neighbor do not understand themselves, yet we live and do businesses together. Under his watch, we have been more united than ever. A man has shown interest like others have shown. What is the problem? We have a contest to make. I am not talking about the general election. The most important thing now is the internal election for a candidate to emerge. Where we are putting all we have to the uh, table, let all our brothers come together. At the end of the day, when he emerges or any other person emerges, then we cannot begin to discuss. I don't want to believe that now is to deform the character of any person. Otherwise, everybody has what they will talk about him. But Kofi, let me assure you, now, His Excellency, this is entrance. Uh, my brother, Oknebo, should agree with me here. That in 2014, strong 2015, when we started campaign, it was like an impossible mission. People never believed that Wike is going to make it. First, the story was as a state uh, minister, is he going to resign? He resigned, and we saw it. He played, he contested with 27 Calabari aspirants, and he defeated them. This is a man that goes for what he wants. And he understands the cry and pains of Nigerian people. And he's here to prove a solution to it. If he can manage River State, my brother will agree that before today, River State was unbearable for investors. River State was unbearable for commuters. Every day, kidnapping left, right, center, oil theft, and all of that. A man took the bull by the horn to say, No, under my watch, because I took an oath to protect the lives and properties of our people. Okay. Therefore, I must go all out. To see how uh, uh, be, be, to before before I before I go back to Punabo and Kutaria, what, what will what will Governor Yeson Wike uh, bring to the table as president of Nigeria based on his almost eight years of being governor of River State? Very quickly, in one or two sentences. Now, now, governor Wike has a lot of things to bring on the table because he's a man that is properly informed, taking from his political uh, 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 lineage. Talk about as a chief of staff, as a local government chairman, minister, and now governor for two terms. He understands the problems of Nigerian people. He understands that we have a lot of policies and uh, you know laws in this time. Our problem is the implementation, and he's ready to offer that. He has said he's going to fight the insecurity the way he fought in River State. He has said that he's going to provide opportunities for our people. 
is going to create a level playing ground so that investors could come and have assurances. He has said he's going to obey the laws of the land. For instance, how could it be in a system where the court will give a court judgment and you choose the one to obey and the one not to obey? No investor or serious-minded businessman will come to invest in such country. And he has assured Nigerian people that when we roll out our blueprint, you will understand it, that this is a man that believes right. the rule of law. And once you make the rule of law part of your system, a lot of people will believe in your country. A lot okay. of investors will begin to come and key into your economy. All right, so, economy thank, thank you, da Darlington, thank you. Let, 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 let's, it, some have said that in Governor Wike's, uh, but I'd like to ask you, because I've looked, followed the conversation on social media in, in River State, they have been pointing out that in Governor Wike's almost eight years of being uh, the helm of affairs in River State, that his economic credentials have been almost zero. If you want to look at, um, you know, in terms of a private investment and bringing investment from the private sector into River State, he's done well in terms of internally generated revenue. But in terms of having an economic plan, uh, bringing investment into River State, um, some have pointed out that there are not many, you know, um, um, companies that have come into River State to invest. Quickly, what do you say to that? But no, it will not be correct to say that. If he has not created a proper economic status for River people, how does our G GDP rise? We know what we met in 2015 when we came on board. And we know what the GDP is today. The, the IGR is growing on daily basis. Why? Because Wike has given investors in River State assurances to do business. He has stopped touting. He has stopped kidnapping, even though that there is no country you go to, you will not see pockets okay. of crime and criminality. All right. But he has All right. reduced it. Thank, thank you very much. Darlington, let's quickly go quickly go to Oponaboy and Kotaria. Oponaboy and Kotaria, Wike, yes, so Wike says he is PDP's best chance at uh, yeah, clinching power back. Uh, from the All Progressives Congress. Do you Sorry? agree with that? Sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, yes, Mbike says he's the best chance the People's Democratic Party has from uh, clinching power back from the All Progressives Congress. Um, do you agree with him? Well, that, that is left to the party to decide. They are going to take on the advisement, the credentials of all those that declare their interest and present to Nigerians their best candidates. That is left for the party to decide. I am not going to sit down here to tell the party or any political party who is supposed to be their flag bearer, their standard bearer. That is the exclusive preserve of the party. Then after that presentation, the Nigerians will now decide whether he's fit to be their president or not. The yeah. first step is the party. When trees fall on trees, the top most effects will move. Let me claim that party to get first. Then okay. we talk of whether Nigerians will vote for him or okay. not. That's the purely PDP. All right. But All let right. me also respond to that. That is, you know, the pensioners are not being paid in River State. Jobs are not created in River State. He promised 5,000 jobs. They are not created. Pensioners are not paid. There is no promotion in the civil service. You know all that. These are facts. The pensioners go. It is not, it is not correct, my brother, to say so. And I'll give you the indices so that we convene. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much for your time. Uh, uh, Darling Tunoji, we have uh, to go. Please. We'll definitely have a part two of this. Oh, uh, well, we'll I need to talk now. I'll because of, to because talk. of time. We're going to have a part two of this. We'll do one for you. Thank you, gentlemen. Darling Tunoji is a former spokesman of the people in River State. Opunapo and Gotari is a former special advisor on media and publicity to Governor Yeson Wiki. Opunapo, you made an accusation on me. I have no idea what you're talking about. So I'll get back to you after now to, to discover what it is you're talking about. But thank you very much for your time. Um, uh, thanks to you, the viewer, for staying with us. A very interesting uh, program today. We round up today's show with a report of the just concluded All Progressives Congress Convention and Kofi Retail's Plus Politics returns tomorrow. While urging members of the party to be strong and united, President Mamadou Buhari said the convention came at a crucial time when the party was preparing for another round of general election. Also, the vice president, Yemi Oshibaju, lauded the founding members of the party for forming a political party that dislodged the People's Democratic Party, PDP, after 16 years in power. This convention is coming at a crucial time when we prepare for another round of general election. Therefore, the need to remain strong and be united for the party to exploit the rich abundant potentials at its disposal to not be overemphasized. We appreciate the right to hold different opinions and aspirations. However, such differences must not be to the detriment of the party. 
Over 4 million beneficiaries of our government environment and enterprise program, the market money, trader money, farmer money. Our private sector has, despite constraints, continued to do wonders. Only a few days ago, Mr. President commissioned one of the, lar the largest fertilizer plants in Africa and one of the largest in the world. And in a few months, the largest single line refinery in the world will become operational. Senate President Ahmed Lawal and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Mila, lauded the President for his role in ensuring executive legislature harmony. They also hailed the President's commitment to the implementation and completion of projects across the six geopolitical zones and particularly the second Niger Bridge in the southeast. We construct the second Niger Bridge. They broke the ground and they ran away. They came back, broke the ground for the second time and ran away. They never did anything. That time, they were pushed out of office. We promised you only once and we are almost achieving. By the grace of God, before the end of this year, Mr. President will go and commission the second Niger Bridge. You should know where your bread is battered and where your tea will have the milk and the sugar. All things being equal, we intend to revisit the issue of women inclusion in our constitutional students. We must do this because ours is a party of inclusion. This is the promise of the progressive movement, and we have kept the faith. As we have gathered here today from across the regions of our country, representing every religion, tribe, and gender, I urge you, fellow progressives, to adopt this motto of nation building a grand task and act accordingly. The national chairman, APC Kiatika Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, Me Malabuni, highlighted the achievements of the Kiatika Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee. Let me assure those you whose defections have been challenged in the courts that you have nothing to fear. Your defections did not contravene any law. You will, by the grace of God, be much successful and victorious in the superior courts at the end of these litigations. Your wise decision to join APC along with millions of your supporters shall never be in vain. Senator Abdullahi Adamu emerged as the national chairman of the party after he was endorsed by consensus by delegates at the convention along with other new National Executive Council members and this is coming about a year and nine months after the Adams Oshamale led National Working Committee, NWC, was sacked. Senator Adam went into the election as a consensus candidate following the withdrawal of other aspirants from the contest. On behalf of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, we wish to explain our sincere appreciation to the leadership and members of the Old Progressive Congress for fighting our constitution very glad of being given by a consensus. So we have allowed one of our members to be a contestant for the office of the national chairman of the Great Party. He is no other person than the single senator, Amir Adamu. Also elected through consensus are Ima Enuku from Enugu State as the Deputy National Chairman South, Abubakar Kari, Deputy National Chairman North, and Atumba Iola Omishori, National Secretary, among others. All the consensus candidates were confirmed through voice votes at the convention.